This is the plaintiff, Latoya Reno. She says she hired the defendants to make a prototype of a revolutionary head wrap product to protect style hair overnight. It came out perfectly, and when she hired the defendants to mass produce the head wraps, she made a huge mistake and ruined all the very expensive fabric she gave them. The defendants refused to refund her the money she owed in wasted fabric and lace, and she's here suing them for the $2,518.59 she's owed. These are the defendants, Leah and Gabriel. Leah says they cut all the fabric the plaintiff gave them precisely to the patterned instructions, which they followed to a T. The irrational woman freaked out when she saw the cut fabric. They offered to split the cost, even though they did nothing wrong, but the plaintiff stomped up and down, insisting they give her a full refund. And now here they are. They're accused of not making a cut. The defendants have filed a counter suit for $2,000 for slander and unpaid labor costs. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Ms. Reno. Yes. Um, you have developed a revolutionary head wrap to protect styled hair overnight. Yes, ma'am. You've even patented it. Yes, I did. Tell me about it. What makes it so special? Well, it's the first of its kind. Um, I found myself in a predicament uh, four years ago needing to actually go to sleep and protect my hair. And um, I know the methods in which that you can do so, and they're traditional, and they haven't changed, and they won't. They don't work, you know? So um, I didn't want bed head anymore. And in the middle of the night, I it's an epiphany that came to me and I, it worked. <laughs> and I, next morning I woke up and made it my mission to develop the perfect product and bring it to market. And does it have to do with the, the fabric that you use or the- Yes, the... so the way that it's made is revolutionary. It has, two diff it has two sleeves that allow the consumer to hold up to 26 inches of hair perfectly, effortlessly. So and it wraps the hair from the bottom all the way up or how does it work? So you pull your arms through it and you then uh, open it up through the opening and then you kind of just consume your hair and crochet it through the sleeves. And the sleeves are lined with satin and the outside is decorated with lace. And so after you've then pulled your hair through the sleeves, you crisscross it and a cute little bow in the back is what attaches it and allows it to just stay on your head comfortably like a cocoon. Why do we go through so much effort? <laughs> you know, meanwhile, we're, you know, we're with men who don't even have matching socks. Right, but we go through all this effort, you know? Absolutely, and it's all right. cute. And how much is that product go, first of all, you haven't gotten in, we're gonna talk about our lawsuit, which is your first attempt at production. Right. My question to you is, are you in production elsewhere or you're waiting I for the resolution? I am currently working on that now, okay. so yeah. All right, and what's it gonna be called? The Samurai Wrap. Say it again, Samurai the Wrap. The Samurai Wrap. All right, now you hire the defendant's company. Yes, you are the daughter of the gentleman, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so. He's your father. Yes. He raised you. Yes. He cured your boo boos. <laughs> he paid for your schooling. So don't screw this up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> the pressure. All right. All right. So you hire them to do your first production. Now let's talk about the first thing that happens. The first thing that happens is they make a prototype and they give you the prototype. Yes. And you're very happy. Do you happen to have that prototype here? Yes. Okay. Can I see it? Absolutely. So the very first one they made is this red and black one. Okay. Oh, you're gonna have to, can you do a demo? Yeah. Do you mind? Okay, Absolutely. cause I'm gonna have to see what, on, oh my goodness. Okay. So, and the first time I ever did this was four years ago. And I was like, no way, this is crazy. So it looks like leggings almost. Exactly. All right. Exactly. And so inside is lined with satin, the outside right. has lace, and right. then the bow and all that. So. You are a genius. And then there's a little bow in the back. Oh my God, you're a genius. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so you can Make take it sleep. off. I yeah. want to see what your hair looks like when you take it off. Go ahead and take it off. <laughs> um, so that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. So that one is perfect. 
right? Yes, perfect. You love it, everybody's happy, you say, you're my people, and you hire them to do the first production. Absolutely. You bring them how many yards of fabric? Um, I brought them 155 yards and another 128 yards. Got it. Yes. And then, how was that one done? Did you give them a pattern? I did, I did. I gave and them enough fabric, so I gave them the exact the, amount. The, the, the original one, did, it was done pursuant to a pattern. Yes. Who made the pattern? You? No, my, um, my seamstress. seamstress. Yes, okay. of four so years. So does anyone have the original pattern? I do. Okay, may I see the original pattern? Absolutely. All right. Now, when you decide to go into production, is there a different pattern or is it the same pattern? The very same one. Okay. Now, what happens? Something happened in production. Can you explain? Oh, by the way, wait, before we even get there, she wanted a sample before you went into production, right? Well, she actually put in the order. Uh -huh. And uh, um, do you we... have the order? Yes. Can I see it? So I'm kind of confused because she puts in an order. Uh, what is the point of doing the sample if you cut everything already in the order? Like, isn't the idea of the sample for her to approve it? Well, she already approved the original she approved sample. The prototype. Yes. But now why so why is there a sample? Well, that is the sample. That is the prototype. The prototype is the sample. Okay, so if the prototype is the sample, I have a question for you. Yes. Did you cut the other ones in a different way than you cut the prototype? We actually cut it. It was actually cut differently because the pattern actually said to cut it with the grain of the fabric, and the grain of the fabric is always parallel to the selvage um, of the roll. Okay, but this is the pattern that you're talking about that it's says to this. cut it a certain way. Yes. Then why did you cut it a different way the first time when the you made very, the prototype? The very first time she only brought just enough fabric to make that one little piece. Just okay. enough fabric. Now, so we laid I it. don't know much about patterns, so yes. I'm gonna ask you what here tells you to cut against the grain or for the grain or yes, whatever. Of course. So as you can see over here, it says G as in the grain line, mm -hmm. and then this would be like the stretch, and this is the place on fold. If you have like tubular fabric, mm -hmm. so you put this on the edge of the fabric, and then you cut. Okay. So, the, so yeah. Does the pattern have an instruction to cut the way she's saying? No. Okay, now you explain to me why not. Absolutely. So on the other side, yep. So this here, this mark that was made in this permanent marker is against the grain. This indication happened, I don't know when, but this was not done by the seamstress. This is his work, this is also his work, and these are instructions. Well, who wrote that in? I, I don't know, and these little designs too, I don't know. Who, d did you guys Wait. write on it? No, ma'am. We well, that did you ever ask the seamstress if he wrote on it? What, yeah. What's the deal? Yeah, so he, they also had a conversation with Alberto, and he explained what they needed to do. So those before arrows- Before the cut? Before the cut. Before Is that accurate? This, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, uh, it's not before the cut. Not no. before the cut? It was actually after. Okay, No. so when everything hits the fan? No. It was okay, after. go ahead. They, so when I came to them, I brought them everything they needed to actually make it. So I wanted to make sure that I can hire them to do the job. So I um, I gave them the fabric, I gave them the pattern, and I also Are you referring had to the prototype now? Are you for I'm referring to the very, very first okay. ever, did, ever one. Did the seamstress this, speak to them before the prototype? Absolutely. Okay, is that what you meant when you said that they, that they spoke? Correct. Did he speak to you? Well, as a matter of fact, when she brought in the little bit of fabric with the pattern and her prototype that Alberto did, because there's another one, there's a blue one. So the blue one that she brought in, we went off of with that one. So we I don't know what it. you're saying. What's another one, a blue one? There's pattern? another. There's another prototype. There's a. There's a yes. green. There's okay. the red one that we but did, did you, and the did one the that same, he made. Did the seamstress speak to you before you cut the prototype? He actually spoke to us when they came to pick it up. When so is the answer to my question no? no? No. Okay, so you never spoke to him until they came to, to pick, pick this one, one up, the prototype. The prototype. Okay, and so when he spoke to you point, then, then, did he tell you how to cut it? No. At that point, what did he talk to you about? He was all he said. Oh, the, the sample is perfect. It's great. It's good. Okay. That's it. And you know that that sample that was approved was cut differently than you ended up cutting this one. Yes. And okay. Now if so, and your answer to why is that you're pointing to this yes. ink here, yes. and her answer to you is that's not the seamstress's um, 
arrows, the seamstress's arrow is here. Yes. And now, where's the seamstress? Is, is he here? No. Are you sure you call him seamstress if it's a boy? It is a boy. It, 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 no, I know it's a boy. That's why I'm- It should I'm, be a tailor. Or a tailor, guy, it right? A if it's a man. No, yeah, I know. All right, so- It's okay. So, so the question is, did he write this or right. didn't he? Right. And the further question is, even if he did, um, if that's what was approved, should it have been cut differently? She says that this arrow, you're saying that she wrote S on that, but then the arrow goes like this, and what, where's his indication of how you cut if she wrote that, then we, or they wrote that, oh, yeah. then tell me where your seamstress shows how to cut. Like, right. where's the G for your seamstress to show to against, against, against the grain? Yeah, yeah, where is it? This is his arrow. This is what he used to make all of my... No, my, I understand, but where's the direction by the seamstress of how to cut? Like, shouldn't there be an arrow with a G that the seamstress wrote? Right. There, where is it? There is no arrow with the G that he wrote. He so has then he, this. So then there was no specification no, about how to was. cut it? That arrow that you see that has that black mark is exactly what Without he, putting the word G. Correct. He has another initial there, um, but he was able to Where's the other initial? Them. I don't, I don't. See, but that's the in the ink and, and it says right. S, like and stretch. Like, yes, correct. That's what she's saying, that correct. that's not the grain indication, that that's a stretch indication. Right. So she's saying he wrote that and that, and so it's, Yes, they didn't make it like the prototype, but they want you to share the blame. Uh -huh. That's what that's what she's saying. Uh -huh. So Another you understand? Thing. And I what's your you. answer to that? My answer is that Albert spoke with them prior to even making the very first one to allow me to hire them as the company to pursue this product. I knew going into this exactly how long it took for me to find this fabric, how long it took me to get everything. So I was very specific about who it was that I decided to go with. All right, so I have a with. question, because everybody playing Kianis Mas Macho, she won't leave, the police are called, she's there for three hours one day, four hours another day. So I want my money, I want my money, I want, she's a very persistent human. Okay, and then, according to you, he said, I'm gonna refund all your money. And then you wanted it in writing, and then he felt offended. Is that right? Entonces, eh, eh, I'll cuando su merced... Okay, it. thank I'll you. Thank you. Okay, don't worry. Ella le estaba pidiendo que usted le devolviera toda la plata, ¿verdad? ¿Usted estuvo de acuerdo con eso en algún momento? Were you in agreement with returning all the money at one point? La discusión con the ella... argument with her se dirigió específicamente was directed specifically con el diseñador with que the lamentablemente designer, no lo veo acá which regrettably is not here today okay sí, él le explicó yo, frena break mm -hmm. <laughs> él le explicó a usted cómo él quería que ustedes lo cortaran did he explain to you how he wanted you to cut it no okay ahí está el problema okay he says no Ustedes escribieron en, en esto. Esos son ustedes que escribieron esto. Are you the guys who wrote this? Doctora, permítame, yo hablo sí no. sobre... Sí o no. No, no, no nada. Yo, nada de esto ustedes lo escribieron. He says he didn't write on anything. Your Honor. Yeah. Um, if you actually see the other, the other patterns, so if you see the headband, you also see the same mark on the headband. Give me all the other patterns. Right. And then if you see the bow, you also see the same the same uh, pencil, I mean, pen mark. Well, we're gonna get, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the tailor on the phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sounds good. Does he speak English? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get that phone over to Judge Melian. Absolutely. So I would really like to ask you some questions. Is that okay? Yeah. I have in front of me the patterns. Um, on the patterns, there are ink marks and there are also Sharpie marks. I'm gonna send you a picture right now of something and I wanna know if this is your, if this is all your handwriting here. I'm sending it and now I am texting it to you. Yeah, but I, I can't see you on the phone. I know, I know baby, I just texted it to you. Oh, okay, okay. So take a look at your phone. Where do I find the text? That's my problem. All right, let's hang up, take a look at your text and then uh, we're gonna call you right back, how's that? All right, okay, okay. Okay, bye. See, you know, there is ink mark here. So yeah. the suggestion that they wrote that in, I don't think flies. Yeah. Um, and according to her, all the bows were wrong from this one too. Yeah. Is that accurate? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So the suggestion that this is not his and he doesn't make mistakes is also kind of not flying. What I asked for, Your Honor, was one. I asked so let's for talk them about that because one. one of the things that she says, and you <laughs> acknowledge that you were to make a sample. So we would only be out a couple of dollars worth of fabric if that had happened. But instead, you guys cut everything. And what is the point of us? You acknowledge that you were going to make another sample. You acknowledge yes. that, that the prototype was one thing. And on this batch, you were to make another sample. Yes. So, so what is the point of a sample if not to approve how it was done? So from that, actually, so the way that it works is like this. We first do the very first sample prototype. Sample is done. We're done Good. with that. I, I yes. need you to answer my specific question. I am, and I am. Okay. So then right after that, the order is placed. Everything is cut because Why that though? one sample. The point, what is the point of a sample at that point if you're going to cut everything? Because, because I got an idea. If you cut everything and it's cut wrong, now we have a huge problem, which is true. exactly what happened. What here. happened here. So, so why wouldn't you just cut the one? Because at that point, once everything is already approved and the pattern is good, everything is good. Yes, but you didn't do it just like the prototype. You did to, it different than the prototype, right? We moved to the next And then one. you have these explanations about why you did it different than the prototype. Which is, but, but. If you're supposed to do another sample, what is she approving if you've already cut everything? A, the idea She's behind a sample is, is that she has to approve it. Yes. Right. So what are you having approved? So from that is the production sample. The production sample is the one. You can use all the fancy words you want. I, can, I need I you to answer my question. Yes. What's the point of a production sample if it's not to approve the how you're going to do it. it? The sewing of it. The sewing of it? Mm-hmm. The Purely the sewing of it, because at that point, everything is cut. But you cut it different than the prototype. We cut it according to the pattern. But you know that you didn't cut it according to the pattern when you did the prototype. Your answer for it is, oh, they brought us a small piece. But you know you didn't cut it according to the pattern. Yes, yes. And, if, so, and did you say to them, hey, I can't cut it according to this pattern? I did not. Right. Because... So you cut it against the pattern. You completely violated the pattern, and they loved it. So why didn't you just do the same thing when you cut everything? Okay. Why is your so... cop out, ah, oh, this time I did it according to instructions? I don't like that. I will tell you what happened. So when she came in to do the sample, my mom Which and dad, sample? The very first prototype. The prototype. The prototype. My mom and dad received that fabric, and they received the sample, and they received everything. They didn't they receive a sample. It. You're giving a sample. She brought us a blue sample. Oh, what, her own. Yes. yes. So she brought us a sample. She brought us a little piece of fabric, which the pattern was By the laid. way, the blue one, how is it cut? The way she wants it. Yes. Right. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Um, and it was, it's like giving you an eight, uh, uh, 11 by 10 and then giving you yards of fabric. So it's, 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 they, she only brought this little bit of fabric. I and then he was placed I, I, listen, on that. Listen, I, I don't know how to explain myself. Here. My questions are far more profound than what you're giving me. Okay. I understand what you said. You don't need to keep repeating yourself. Okay. She only brought me a little bit of fabric, so that's why I cut it that way. Did you ever say to her, hey, you only brought me a little bit of fabric, so I'm not cutting it the way the plan is? I did not because I was Correct. not there. So now somebody takes it upon themselves to do it differently. And it's a hit. She loves it. Yes. So why don't you just do it differently for the mass? Why do you then all of a sudden, I know why, because you have a lot of orders and you have a lot of cases and you and then somebody just did whatever. But the point of the prototype was for her to approve it. She loved it. She didn't know what you say you did. And then she asks you for a sample and the sample is all cut differently than the prototype. Mm -hmm. And your answer for why it's not completely your fault is because we were following the pattern. Yes. And her answer to that is, but you didn't follow the pattern in the first one, and that's the one I love, and you wrote this in. Now, I'm w still waiting. Let's get Albert back on the phone and hear whether Albert says, yes, that's my mark or not. And then we got to decide how much importance to give that, considering everything else, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Hi, Albert. Did you get the text? Yes, I did. I got it. OK, is that G and that arrow your handwriting? Yes. Okay, because they're saying, the defense is saying that you are saying in that G to cut it long ways for the grain. Is that true? Okay, the, the, G, the G is for the grain of the fabric. A cross grain means against the stretch. In other words, I put the marker stating that it should be on the stretch. The one that I gave them, the piece left over was cut the right way, and that was the only piece that was left. 
I figured if they cut it this way, they know what they're doing. Okay, I got you. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. All right, I am, um, I got to tell you, I, I think that's where I land on this, is that there's supposed to be a sample, and you can't say, oh, that's just for the sewing part, as though that's the only thing she wanted to, to sample. Um, now, the problem, everybody agrees that it's stretching the wrong way, and your product will not work as envisioned. Um, you have a counterclaim against her for $2,000 for slander, mm -hmm and labor, tell me about that. Um, so my dad spent 20 hours cutting the fabric and then also she put um, a review on Google for saying that we destroyed $16,000 worth of inventory and then she goes on B on BB and B, the Better Business Bureau, and then she says that she's seeking $1,832.49 and then she's suing us in the small claims court for 2500 Yeah, I'm going to need to see the proof of your damages, please. Absolutely. Can I Can I see, um, first of all, the receipts for the fabric that... Sure. That's it. Yes. All right. And what is the $50 for the seamstress? The $50? For his time to come down to the um, manufacturing Do you company. have a receipt for that? That you had to pay him $50 to come down there? Or? Can we call him back? No. Okay. Did you pay him? I did. And defamation of character, why? They are expressing that my review on Google was a slander to them and that that was incorrect. Okay. How is that defamation of your character? They are defending themselves lying. against your bad review. How yeah. is that defaming your character? Because they're lying. They're lying and saying okay. that I Okay, on am. their counterclaim against you, zero. On your claim against them, I think that you were entitled to all that you, did you pay them anything for their labor or no? That was refunded. That was refunded yes, already. And that was how much? Um, $1,180. Okay. So what the, your lawsuit is for the additional things that we've talked about. Yes, ma'am. I find that you are entitled to um, the fabric that we're talking about because I find that the whole point of a sample is don't do anything that'll ruin the whole batch. That's the point of a sample. Um, I also am not sure that they're right that the pattern was wrong. But in any event, I don't even need to decide that. Uh, I'm also going to award you the $50 of the time of the seamstress, not defamation of character. Um, so I'm going to order your fabric back, which is really what you have been asking for from the beginning anyway. Absolutely. Plus, the you need to know when to stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to order them to pay you back. You win the fabric back because I believe that you were right. And the $50 of the seamstress, $1,314.49. Verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, folks. And it really does look like a great product. So the plaintiff does get back the cost of the fabric. She gets a little over $1,300. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting case. If you'll stand right there, sir. There you go. Um, everybody seems so nice. You know, it's a shame it ended up like this. It is a shame because it is a good product. It's, yeah, it you agree. Product. Well, I guess it's over between the you guys, right? Yeah, For I wish sure. her the best. And I, I do hope that the wrap does, you know, sell well. Well, good luck. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Have a good what, one. What a nice attitude Bye. you have. Thank you. Just lost in court, but they wish you the best, you know? Yeah. How do you feel about the outcome? Um, it happened, and um, I'm glad that the judge did see my side, and um, God is good, so I'm glad it happened that way. She loves your product, by the way. I'm excited. She thinks you're gonna, you got a hit on your hands, okay? Yeah. I can't wait for the world to experience it, man. The Samurai Wrap is on its way. Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Harvey? Well, I got to tell you, Doug, when you do something like this, you should be getting approvals every step of the way. Communicate with the person. It is critical to do that. If you do the job in just blindly, then uh, the other person isn't happy, you could end up in court.